Yo, what up, YouTube or Jet Life? We back with another video. For this video, we're gonna be reacting to 10 Karens who got owned and were humili ooh, humiliated. Number 15, you saw me stumble? Yo, y'all pick me up. Don't 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 let me fall like that. <laughs> we all going to 5,000 subscribers. Oh, y'all having a good day. Bless the whole thing. Save this world full of negativity. Cause y'all about to talk about my speech impediment. I'm from the south, so we mess up words anyway. But this should be funny. Hey yo, if you're gonna get sensitive over these topics, we come to laugh. We ain't come for you to be in your fucking feelings, so move around. But yeah, this should be fun. <laughs> Let's get to this eight minute video. We don't need to talk too much. Tonight on Retail Nightmares, we take a look at Karens who got owned and humiliated. These are Karens who didn't get their way in the What we call men, Karens? Steve? Kevin? Steve? got put in their place and we have a lot of them to what get to so let's show up grab into it talk? okay so this lady was being disorderly at this airport and that's when she was arrested and detained this lady demanded that these officers take their hands off her and stated that if anybody was going to touch her it would be their golden retriever before making a huge scene in front of everybody and literally trying to stampede out of there let's have a look let it go with me if i want anybody to touch me it's your golden retriever if I want anyone to touch me, it's your golden retriever. First of all, yeah. Don't volunteer my dog to touch you. You don't know my dog. My dog been trained. You're like, no, no, no. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Don't, don't. My dog don't like you. Don't touch me. Bring your foot. Let go of my arm. It's another day. You are definitely insulting your time. Who's breathing like people's got a mask on? Why are you breathing like that? Four. One, two, three, four. Four. Don't do drugs. Everybody's like, oh, it's mentally. Man. Yeah, she hot. One, two, three, four. Okay, so this Karen was raising hell in this place of business, and for this reason, she was asked to leave the premise. This Karen was given several opportunities to leave, but she refused to do so, and also refused to put on a supplied mask. That's when enough was enough, and the authorities were called, and she was detained and humiliated in front of everybody when she tried to state that she was profiled and that they didn't have a legal reason to detain her. This Karen was in for a rude awakening when they did detain her and put her in her place as she sat there recording them as if she was the victim. This Karen couldn't just comprehend what they were saying and obliged to what she needed to do, and instead continued giving everybody a hard time, which resulted in her getting arrested and Not being taken movie. to jail. Let's have a look. Oh, when you're legally detained, you can play back on your video. When you're legally detained, you have a duty to identify yourself to a police officer. Okay, so they're saying when I'm legally detained. Yes, yeah, legally detained and arrested. You got to identify yourself. It's not one of those you don't got to identify yourself. So if you're not about to be arrested or legally detained, you don't got to know the law. Ignorance is not an excuse. Know the fucking law. Which I was not. That I have Can you try to run her with other Like, you know, approximately 40 foot years age. How am I legally detained? We were called here to Okay, so they're saying that. Okay, so let me call the police chief. Are you going to let me talk or are you going to do the situation worse? No, you are. By not following the law. First of all, I don't have to identify myself. You do. Actually, I don't. It's called common law. You should read up on it. I do not. Okay? So we both know that I don't. I am a woman of God. This is my right as much as it is yours. This is my land as much as it is yours. I did not sign. It's Native American land. We ain't gonna go through that though. I'm not for this. I am a Christian woman of God, and you are not gonna put your disgusting rules on me. They got rules in the Bible. You're a man of God, and you say you don't want rules. You're a woman of God, and you want rules. They got rules in the Bible. That are false and not true. I will not have it. You understand that? I will not have it. I'm sick of being bullied. I'm sick of being lied to, and it's not going to happen anymore. Do you understand? The CDC just released. Oh my God. Fuck it. <laughs> he said, "Fuck it." What's she talking about? 
So she said that CDC, man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh okay, so this Karen was creating hell inside of this mold because she was an anti mask and wouldn't put one on. She tried now. to yell and argue her point across to random people walking past. And that's when this gentleman decided to call her out and put her in her place. This Karen was dumbfounded and couldn't it, believe somebody would say this to her. The and that's when other anti masking white knights intervened and tried to calm the gentleman down. This gentleman then focused his attention on the other anti maskers and stated that it was his business, which it is because he could get sick because of these people who are in there illegally as there is a mask mandate. The security ended up having to get involved as well, which only made things even worse for this Karen as she was put in her place and humiliated in front of this entire mall. Let's have a look. People are not asking the right questions. I might not They're take not this out the right so questions questions because it. they kind of think You might want to talk to the security. This lady here is in the mall with a mask. Yeah, got gotcha. you. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. You don't have a mask on. What is your? Who are you? I, I, I just come to the mall. Okay, yeah, sure. And you are. What is your? I understand that it was mandatory to wear your mask and you can get sick, but if you see somebody without a mask on, my G, you really don't gotta run it right in their face and make it worse. Now, now you got a higher chance of getting something if you would have just ignored her and walked away man this this is extra this is unnecessary y'all both both wrong in this situation like i don't i don't care if she don't want to wear a mask or not you don't you can mind your damn business i'm pretty sure plenty of people passed her up before this died mind your fucking why people can't mind their business what is your You're name? A threat what is Get your name she's getting her mask. It is my business. It's right here. No, it's nothing. Put your mask on. Put your mask on. This lady You're in her space at this point. Trouble? She yeah. has no mask on. It's okay. She shouldn't be in the mall. She is exactly. No, she is not exempt. Did you see the paper? She's a liar. Hold on. Hold on. I don't care. Come with me. Come with me. Sir, everybody's complaining about her with no mask on. Everybody's got a mask. Sir, she's examination. Well, she told you you believe what she says? No, no. I don't. The police needs to come, bro. This is not fair. And you might get arrested, sir. No, no you will. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming. I'm leaving, but he's hunting me. Okay, like, come with me. I want the police to come. Can I say that? Yeah, come with I'll me. show you the paper. Come with me. I'll show you the paper, but I need his okay, name. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so this anti-masking Karen found himself in a heated argument with another gentleman for no other reason than he had profiled him. That's when this male Karen got in his face and started intimidating him and threatening to attack him and just trying to get in a fight with him for literally no reason. A manager actually had to come over and intervene and get between them oh, as this male Karen ass, tried to throw punches and kicks at him for literally no reason as well as state some very offensive things towards him. Let's have a look. Right now. I do black people. When do we have a black, black people say they strong? Mentally. Why why do I'm not about to get into that man. Let 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 them. Come on. 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 Hey, what are you gonna do a key? Keep it breathing. Knocked your dumb ass out. At that point, it's self defense. Uh, yeah. Pokemon Snap just came out. I was trying to Pokemon Snap. Pokemon Snap. Yeah, that's what we're here for, too. Okay, so this live streamer was really bored and I guess he wanted to create a disturbance in the workforce because he went into a store and refused to wear a mask. This store enforces masks and didn't allow him in, which really triggered him. This live streamer went into this pri- Any owner of a franchise 
restaurant, whatever you want to call it, have a right to say they don't want you there. I don't know why I paused it like that. I guess I was getting my words together. If I say I don't want this type of, you know, behavior or type of wear here, then I, I got a right to deny you access to my building. It's mine. Any owner got a right. Private business looking for trouble and started preaching about the laws and how this privately owned business That's doesn't apply law. to him because right he's a private person. Him. Then this live streamer refused to leave the store and forced his way into the store, telling the employees that if they want him to leave, they'll have to call the authorities. This live streamer claims that he can't wear a mask because his lips are too big for a mask and th his lips too big. Where my mask? You see, you see what happened to my mask today? My head too big. Y'all want to see what this this mask look like? This is how small the mask are like on my face. I got a big ass head. You see this? My hand covers most of my face. Yeah, I just broke it. Right. Things escalated quickly when he forced his way into the store and had to get physically escorted out of the store and the authorities called. Let's have a look. Hey, how's it going? You are a pirate mask? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's weird. So I was just at this little ceremony doing at the Capitol. And there's like nurses, a lot of like really um, important Sorry. public people. Sorry. Like, you know, people with high status, like nurses, doctors, oh. people that work for the uh, Cong or what do they call it? Uh, you uh, Supreme Court, whatever. They're up there talking today. So. And they're talking about, you know, like the scientific evidence so. that supports that. You don't have to even wear a mask, and even the loopholes that you don't even have to wear a mask because it's against our constitution. Well, we are a private business, so we're privately owned. So yeah, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a not a private We do require a mask. Yeah, I understand that. I'm not a private person, though. Well, it's a private business, so. All right. Well, I guess you guys have to take me down, like they do in Texas. No. No, that's your that's your right. If somebody won't leave your establishment, you have the right to bear your arms and take them out. Okay. Call the authorities. I'm just gonna go check out some of the stuff. You can't. I can't come in. Nope. I'm just gonna. No, I'm just gonna walk over here. Why are you guarding my way? Why you, but why? You're in my store. See, at this point, you're just being an asshole because you know you're not supposed to be there, but you want to prove your point. You want attention. Why you're touching me too? If you're so worried about the mask, why would you touch somebody without a mask? Thanks for watching, guys. And if you want to see more episodes like this, please subscribe to the channel. See, we just need to like get a group up and just let's fight. But um, hope y'all enjoyed the video. That was ten cans who got owned and were humiliated. Ooh, humiliated humiliated I'm so done with this one I got a speech in fitting but we're on the road to 5,000 subscribers I hope y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day y'all be safe out here we out peace